Hey everyone, Matt at Narrowland uh, with another uh, one of our quick, simple web flow tutorials. Today we're going to go into uh, how to set up uh, versatile sections that can be used as just your standard section or uh, emphasis section. So we like to set those up at the start of a project and then basically unless a special occasion arises, we don't really have to uh, worry about it. Everything is, is good to go. So. Let's hop right in the editor and get to it. So as you'll see, I have a standard section set up here. So we just call it section. <clears throat> we make sure everything is aligned at all times. So we keep a 5% margin on either side and that works great. So you're not trying to calculate pixels as you scale down. It's just always gonna fit uh, nice and neat there. 5%, no matter what the screen size is, great. Uh, typically, we're working on a four-point grid uh, spacing system, which we'll be putting together a tutorial on soon. Um, if it's a more kind of spacious site, a lot of white space like uh, narrow labs, we'll leave 120 pixels of padding underneath the section. Um, our standard project, actually, we use uh, 100 pixels. And then sometimes if we want things to be a little bit tighter, we go with uh, 80 pixels uh, bottom padding. So we always have nice separation between the sections that's taken care of. And then again, uh, we scale that down proportionately. So you see, as we go to tablet, we're down to 80 pixels. So obviously we would like everything to be uh, just a little bit closer on the mobile version. So no uh, big surprise there either. So 120, 180, all divisible by four, right? <clears throat> so here's where it gets good. So we also like to set up what is called like an emphasis section. I have an example actually from the actual Narrowland site. So you see just that light gray background to give a little uh, contrast, we call that an emphasis section. And here is how we set that up. Um, so let's drop a section in here. And we go standard section. Um, let's put a container in there just for the sake of having it be filled out. Call that container. And we like to stick, keep that at 1440 pixels, just in case anybody was wondering. And I'll even drop a little bit of uh, content in there so everything's filled out. Okay. The emphasis section. So section emphasis. First things first, we got to go full width. So we're going to turn the margins to zero and the padding to 5%. 5% stays throughout. So no matter what browser size we're working with, we're at 5%. Um, we also need some top and bottom padding. So I will typically go either 80 or 60. So in this example, let's make it nice and spacious. And let's go with our 80 pixel padding. Now let's just take care of our sizing for mobile right now so we don't have to worry about it. So the section already knows to drop down to 80. And then I like the padding to be a little bit less on mobile at the top and bottom. So we could go with 60 and 60, and I'm gonna leave that 5% padding uh, on the sides, no matter what we're doing. Okay, we look pretty good. And then for emphasis, let's just give it an initial color, and then we'll load the other ones in. So let's say we wanna go that light gray shade that uh, I had shown on the Narrowland website. So. Whoops, that's text, I'm sorry. So you're seeing it in... <laughs> In person, sometimes we make mistakes here. F6, F6, there we go. Uh-huh, okay. So that will be your emphasis section. And then from there, if you have a color palette set up for your website, <clears throat> just add the other colors. So let's say we want a uh, dark gray. We'll call that one dark. And uh, we're gonna use uh, not very good contrast there with our text, but just for the sake of the example, Let's say that would be the uh, dark one. And maybe we want to load in blue. So 
go with uh, E7, and F7, FB. So just like that, <clears throat> we have a section, an emphasis section, and two colors uh, ready to go. And then the last thing uh, that you might want to do, in some cases, you're not going to want that padding at the section. So we also create a no pad version. And you guessed it, we just removed the bottom padding. And that works, you know, good in a uh, case like where it's stacking right up against another colored section, or um, maybe you just don't need that much space below it because there's another element. So um, that took about uh, three minutes and we have everything we could really need on a uh, simple or relatively complex project. So you have your section, you have your emphasis section, and then you have two different color options uh, and the ability to remove the padding. Voila, you're ready to go. Hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave us some feedback, and we will see you again soon. Thanks.